Now let's talk about ball and hammer toys. I've got a couple of different ones here. This one is Melissa and Doug, and it's just a really classic kind of wooden toy with four options and the ball falls down. Oh, I like this one. You can see the ball rolled off because it's unexpected for kids when they're watching. They can see the ball fall down, but because there's several ramps here, you can't always really predict where the ball's going to come out. I can't even predict it. And so again, certainly uh, kids are going to like that. It's going to be a reason for them to stick with you and learn how to use that tool that they're using the hammer, not just to bang on the wooden toy to hear that noise, but they're going to see the ball go through and watch the balls go. This toy this ball and hammer toy is one that i've used for a long time they used to sell these at target i haven't been in target in a really long time so i don't know if uh, they still sell the batat toys there but you can certainly get them on amazon and let me talk about why i like this kind of toy so much if you uh, watch show 465 at the very beginning of this series. I talked about this toy and how I think you can use it and I want to be sure to uh, repeat this information today. This kind of toy to me is such a good screener. When I have a kid that's just kind of all over the place and I think I really don't know where his play skills are. He, I'm just not real sure about this kid. You know, again, it might be a busy kid that you can't get to sit down so that you really understand what he would do with toys if he would sit for more than five seconds and play with you. But I like this toy because with tool use, this really separates where a child is play skill wise. If he is predominantly uh, under, if he's under 18 months developmentally, He's predominantly going to use his hands to push these balls in the toy. I haven't thought about this before. I bet now you're having an aha moment. Because if he is older than 18 months, and if you have, well, let's say this. If he is beyond 18 months developmentally with regard to play skills, he's going to what? He's going to want to use the hammer. He's going to know that's more efficient. Now, might the child go back and just want to see if he can push it with his hands? Sure. And as an adult... Wouldn't you do that? Sure. But if you have a kid that you're playing with that after you show him how to use the hammer, he doesn't even try, he discards the hammer, or all he wants to do with the hammer is kind of hold it up, stem with it, you know, bang on himself, experiment with the hammer all over the house, go to the refrigerator, the stove, the floor, the glass table, anything except the toy he's not using the hammer as a tool is he he's just learning how that hammer works he's back at stage three with basic function beginning functional play whatever we called it there he's still at that stage because he's learning how the hammer works but when he bumps up the past 18 months he understands hey to get that ball in what i really should do is use the hammer that that's i can do it that way and again does it always hold? No, but it's a pretty good screener, a pretty good indication. And so I've used this toy a lot for that. So if you don't have a ball and hammer toy, I hope that that's something that you add to your inventory or something that you think. When I see a kid have this at home, you know, I want to see what he does with this toy because I'm going to get some good information about where his play skills are and where his cognitive development is. I want to say one more thing about this toy before we stop. I used to do a lot of trying to work on turn taking with this toy. And if if you've seen me do that on video or we've talked about that, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that anymore. I'm going to correct a past mistake. Because here, when kids are at this 17 to 18 month developmental level, what did we just say about their play skills with an adult? Adults are what? Adults are helpers and cheerleaders. And so children, again, are not at that cooperative play where they're really developmentally learning how to share and learning that other people take turns. And so when you are sitting with them and they are truly at this developmental level and you keep trying to take their hammer away, they're going to be mad. <laughs> and that's what they're learning from that toy is, you know, I, I can't have a turn. I'm so mad. And they can't get beyond that. So have another hammer if you want to be sure that you are playing along with a child like that or do what I'm doing now. Don't focus on turn-taking with a kid like this. They're just not there yet.